And super important update, I installed my personal bidet, my bomb hose. I hit it with the jet ski. Then just a light pat dry, like the queen dabbing her crumpets and tea off her face, you know, just very in the b-hole. Good to go. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Yes, it's true, in front of you and me, Chinese, banger special, New Year's, but subscriber sponsored by my guy, big shots out to Dom. He has done this before. A little while back, I made that country uh, style burger back in my sister's crib, and it was amazing, just like this is gonna be. So he funded this meal, he hit me with the bag, he said, take care of the delivery guy. I picked it up, but I still took care of the cooks and the lady working the phone because it was popping off in there. So shout out to Dom. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I starved myself for this. I'll go over what I got, but before we do that, we know what it is. It's a pour time. So we have the snowmobiler sticker still going. A full glass of icy ice. I don't want to move it back. I don't want to mess with the setting. So we're pouring deep in the rear today, so just please excuse me. And we're also treating ourselves on this new year, heading into 2021 with a full sugar Dr. P, okay? We're really just taking it there. If I'm gonna eat crazy like this, we might as well just pour that full sugar, good medicine from back in the day. I think that is the tale of Dr. Pepper. Some doctor, like some, was making elixirs, medicine elixirs. And he combined it like, combined it. He combined like 50 ingredients and made my favorite soda ever. So, shout out to old school elixir doctors. My taste buds love you. And you've activated my ice machine. Okay. Bubbly bub up close. I think I'm a little blurry back here. Don't mind me while I take my first. But she's nice. Okay. Dude, really? Always. Tinkle time at night. Tinkle time in the morning. It's always freaking tinkle time. Can you hear this guy? He's got a heavier flow than I do when I'm drunk. Which isn't now, but it will be tonight. Weapons of choice. We got the chopsticks, but we also got some white boy utensils on the side. Now, what do we got? Chicken balls. Of course. As per request by Don. This is all his request, by the way. We've got the Vietnamese bubbly spring rolls. General Tao chicken. Chicken fried rice under that. And then we got beef and greens, mushrooms, carrots. Super ready for it. Got a dirty side in the clear bowl of that good sweet and sour and you guys know how we kick these vids off it's always with a lit sig baby <laughs> so oh yeah we got, we got some hanger hangers on there but there you go beautiful bubbly vietnamese spring roll to the dip we come okay come on don't play with me. Don't play with my emotions. All right, perfect. First bite, here we go. can you do what can you say you got the pork glass noodles all the other fixings perfect thank you Dom much appreciated I have another subscriber Sponsored meal coming as well. With a personal shout out. Uh, that'll be in the next few days.
That is a thing I'm doing now. It's in the description. Or well to be pinned in the comments, but if you want, an extremely specific meal. The line's open. Sponsored the food costs. I'll make it or order it. In this case, order it, but also make it. Just for you. And shout you out. Who knows? Maybe that's a way that you guys, you guys will get me to eat seafood. Out of obligatory requirement. Okay, chicken ball. Going in with the fried stuff. Gotta dunk it. There we go. Bite for you. And I bite that for me. All white inside. Just how a good chicken ball is supposed to be in my opinion. Very, very on point. Get to this general tzow. Piece of chicken. With the tzow sauce. Just has a different, that different heat kick to it. The veggies, peppers, onions, broccoli. Mm -hmm. Maybe bite one and a half, see what's going on inside. Just white, tender chicken strips. Mm, cashew. Cashew if I can. But. Definitely have a little bit of a crazy update in terms of seafood is that. On Christmas, me and my sisters and my mom, we did surf and turf because they like lobster, crab, shrimp, all that. Did steaks. And some size. I tried crab. Doused in butter and lemon. And I went back for a second leg. I gotta say. It was quite good. Other than when. I, uh, I got to the knuckle of the crab and that's where I, I got at all a little bit fishy, but for the most part, the meat, so tender, the texture is beautiful, the bar of lemon. So I could see myself hitting some crab legs on here just, you know, for shits and gigs. This got white really fast. <laughs> so much easier.
retired. Oh, that's good. Beef and broccoli and bok choy, my fave. Give you a little up close and personal of that. I love a good beef and greens. How about you? Mm. Celery in there, mushrooms. So, happy New Year! Uh, New Year's Eve. It is currently real time. It's thirty first right now, about two thirty p.m. I hope y'all. Enjoy it. Stay safe. Whatever you do. Keep it low key. Go crazy. I don't know. I would imagine. Given the state of the world. It's going to be. Uh, not that wild this year. For most people. Which to me. I hate New Year's personally in, in the past. I always have had just very subpar experiences. Places are too packed, can't get anywhere. Get it, get in anywhere. Shit's really expensive. Cabs are next to impossible. Rides home are next to impossible to, to get. And most of all, time is an illusion. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, I've always said that my new year begins when I turn a year older, so on my birthday. That's when I start counting my, my, my overly stressed, I haven't got enough done in my life clock. Anybody else have that clock? Definitely when I get a new year older, I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> another, another, uh, notch on my age and I'm still not, I had all achieved anything that I've wanted to in my entire life. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have achieved. A lot of good things in my life. But there's always room for more, you know? The dreams that itch at you at night. Those things. But we'll see if those will even be possible keep chasing and work on depending on how the apocalypse goes I'm so stuck in that state with the world the way it is I'm like I'm just like can we just have an answer you know I want to either fully give up and accept the epoch or I want to know like will it be cool again 
And can I have some hope that, like, to start working on things? <laughs> Is there anybody else in that same zone? Because I'm totally there, like, every day, all the time. I personally... I'm having what I think is going to be one of the best New Year's of my life, to be honest. But it's low-key, chill. I'm going to my sister's place. The comedians and podcasters. Um, Tom, Tom Segura, Burt Kreischer, are having a live New Year's, like, crazy event, like, getting all screwed up and doing funny, funny shit. So we rented the rented the pay per view. We're just gonna get cozy, get a little dozy, if you will, <laughs> and just laugh, mm. and kick it with my uh, fur niece, aka her dog. So just be drunk, chill, comedy and dog vibes, which I'm totally down for. <laughs> I see no flaws in the plan. Hopefully I uh, don't wake up too hungover. So that maybe I can get to that other sponsored subscriber request, but that's why I'm putting no uh, guarantees on anything because tomorrow could totally be right off. Worst case scenario. Let's just say tomorrow's forecast is calling for high, high chance of Pizza Hut. You know? Why is my stomach so bitch made these days? And super important update coming off the heels of my last video before I choke down a few more bites here is that I installed my personal bidet, my bum hose, and let me tell you, life changing, game changing, a little intense, tickles the bee hole pretty crazy, it's almost sharp. You gotta have fine control, but. Boom. It's immaculate. It just takes care of business. Like, I just like spot dry after, like pat dry. One and done. I hit it with the jet ski. Then, just a light pat dry. Like the queen dabbing her crumpets and tea off her face, you know, just very 
in the b-hole good to go it's a little cold a little shocking on the system but my uh, toilet paper expenditures are going to be almost non-existent so do with that what you will I highly encourage and suggest looking into it quite honestly all right I am full somehow just one of those times I guess when you're starving and then you're not it happens to me quite a bit but let's see what 2021 has in cookie for me You will be exposed to great tyranny and possibly face socialism or and or communism, possible FEMA camps. <laughs> well, thanks, Cookie. Sounds great. <laughs> All seriousness, it's good advice for 2021. <laughs> Keep your idealism practical that's no word of a lie I think that could go for all of us going into this next year to keep our ideals practical because I don't think we're gonna get everything that we want the way we want it <laughs> anyways not to be a bummer hopefully things Turn out better hopefully by the time spring and summer kind of roll in i think hope hopefully life is gonna semi come back to some semblance of what it was but i really think we're forever changed here for like the remainder in certain areas of life but uh here's to hope and so i'm done with this one i hope you guys have a good safe fun night with all your people and uh until the next one you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.